in today's video how to create an Indian flag using Python, NumPy, and Matplotlib. So here's a sneak peek of our final product. Uh, this is our flag in Matplotlib and in Python, and that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So the first thing I want to do is just give credit to tutorialspoint.com because this is where I'm going to get the code from. And so you can see our code here as well as another representation um, of the flag and of the final product below. So what we're going to do is just copy our code here. And um, you'll also note that we need NumPy and we're going to need matplotlib as well. And I'll show you how to download those and include those in our project a little bit later on. Next, we're gonna go over to our terminal, and I've created a new directory here, a new, uh, a new folder, a new project, and the first thing we're gonna do is create our Python file. So we'll call it flag.py, and we can type ls again and see that our file is here now. And what we'll do is open flag.py. And what we'll do is paste in our code and save it, and then come back to our terminal because there's a few more things we're going to need to do. The next thing we're going to do is create our virtual environment. So we'll use virtual env and then we'll call it my env. And so this will create our virtual env for us. You can see that it has been created. And when I go to uh, type ls again, we can see that I have my my env now. So we have two different files in our folder now. And to activate our virtual environment, we do source myenv bin activate. And you can see now our virtual environment is on, and we can download NumPy and download matplotlib to get started. The next thing I'm going to do is create our requirements.txt file. So we'll do touch requirements.txt. We can type ls again and see that. Um, our file has been created, and now we have three files in total. Now we're going to open up our requirements.txt file, and you'll see that it's empty, so we're going to need to add NumPy and matplotlib to this. So the easiest way is just to go to Google, and we're going to type matplotlib uh, pypy. And that'll give us kind of the latest version, and we can grab this and bring it into our requirements.txt. Just remember that you're going to have to add a little double equals here. And then we save that. Now we have matplotlib. We'll go back to Google and now we'll get NumPy. So we grab NumPy and we go back to our requirements.txt. And on a new line, we add that in as well. And that's all we need to do. This is going to be the entire extent of our requirements.txt file for this project. Sweet, so now that this is good, uh, we can close this out and we can come back to our terminal. Again, we have three files here and we're gonna do pip3 install dash r requirements.txt. And what this is going to do is download uh, the, um, the <laughs> download the packages in the requirements.txt file into our virtual environment. So those have been downloaded, now we have access to those. And guess what? We can just run our flag.py now. So we'll do python3 flag.py, oops, flag.py. And that should just boot up our flag for us right there. Perfect. There is our Indian flag. So now that we have our Indian flag, there's actually just a couple uh, fun little things I want to do just to uh, mess around in here inside our Python file to get more used to what's going on in the code. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just create a couple of spaces here, space things out a bit. And I noticed one thing I wanted to do is I noticed that there's a bit of inconsistency in terms of the color. So we have green, we have white, and then we have this dash color, which would probably represent the orange. And so what I'm going to do is just going to change that out for a more generic orange. And let's see if we can tell the difference when we run it uh, that the, you know, that the, the, the style of orange has changed. And yeah, to me at least, um, it looks like that orange has changed, but it's good enough. And kind of the reason I wanted to do it first, I just wanted to start messing with the file and B, just create some consistency here. Now, the next thing I wanted to do, oops, 
um, is I wanted to remove the edge color. And the reason I wanted to do this, A, was just to mess around with the file a little bit. B, kind of just reduce the number of arguments we have going on here and just kind of show you what that looks like as well. So we'll remove this and we'll run it again. And you can see that the edges around the flag have disappeared. And I'm just gonna um, move this guy a little bit. So we'll go back to our code and we'll actually just reinstate these for a second just so we can see what the difference is. So we'll run this again. And when we run this again, we can see that there's this gray edge around our flag and in between all of the lines as well. So we'll just go back and remove the edge color and this will remove that gray edge from around the flag. So you see how it's gray a little bit? Well, we get rid of that, run it again, and there's no gray edge. So look at that. We have done our first customizations of our Indian flag in our Python file using matplotlib and numpy. All right, so now that we've got our feet wet with messing with the file, restarting it, um, iterating on the flag a little bit, let's just kind of review what's going on in this file in a little bit more detail. And the reason I wanted to do this project is, is because I don't know all that much about matplotlib, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll learn about it together. <laughs> So the first thing I noticed is that everything is happening on these subplots, M and N, and specifically, it's all really happening on the N. So if I search N dot, um, you know, we're, we're assigning things to N, we're assigning things to the subplot. And if I look at M dot, there's no results in this file. So I don't fully know the answer here, but we've created these subplots, M and N, but then it's really only N that we're working with. And really what we're doing is we're adding these patches to n. So you can see n.addPatch, n.addArtist, um, n.addPatch again. So that's really uh, what's going on here is we're, we're adding things to n. Um, another thing I noticed is, well, we have these add patches, right? So we have add patch at the bottom, we have add patch at the top, and then we have add artist here. And I was curious about what is add artist? Why do we need that? And what I learned is that add artist is when there's no other dedicated add method, just use add artist. But in our case, we do have add patch. And I, I messed around with this before, and it turns out that add patch is going to work just fine in this case anyway. Um, so we'll close this out. We'll run it again after changing it from add artist to add patch and it works just fine. So that's just another way I wanted to create some more consistency in this file um, as well as just, you know, create an understanding of, of add artist and add patch. The next thing I wanted to do was mess a little bit with matplotlib in terms of how things are showing up on this grid pattern. So you can see how we have 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 4. And then, so somewhere here is kind of the intersection of two and four, and you can actually see it on the bottom here uh, when I do my um, scrolling. So here we have more or less two, two. You know, we go out here and we have two, four. And what I wanna do is just mess around uh, with the position of things on the grid, and we're gonna subtract 0.1 from everything. So before uh, it was one, three, five. So how about instead we'll do zero, two, and four. So we'll save that, close this out, run it again, and see what that looks like. So you can see how our whole flag, or at least the, the three bars, have shifted down 0.1. So now we're starting at 0, 0. So again, um, if we reverse this, we go back to 135. Um, and when we run this, you can see how the corner is actually kind of at like a 0, 1. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then um, we'll go back to our 0 to 4, and we'll do this again, and basically the next step is we're going to um, adjust that circle in the middle as well. So as I look at this, I'm seeing some 6, 4 going on here, 6, 4, and I, 6, 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, so I think these are the ones we're going to want to change. And I think, I don't really want to change the 6 at this point in time. 
I'm just gonna change the four to a three, and I think that might do the job. Cool, so now we've changed all those fours to threes, and we're just gonna run this again and see what happens. Sweet, so it's back in the middle, and it looks like the, the very, very center is at uh, six on the x-axis and three on the y-axis. So you can see how we've moved that back. And just to mess around, Let's see what happens if I just switch that one back. And of course, we still have our threes here. We still have our threes up here, but I'm just gonna switch the four on this one and we're gonna see what happens. So we run this again. And yeah, there's obviously a lot of individual different pieces um, that, that go into the chakra, that go into this symbol in the middle. And you know th they're kind of layered on top of each other. And that's what's important here. So. I'm going to run this again, having fixed it, and perfect. Now we're back to our perfect Indian flag. We have 6-3 in the middle. We have 0-0 zero, zero in the corner. And hopefully you guys, and me as well, are starting to get the feel for the whole grid, grid pattern layout. Another thing I wanted to mention is just how the file is set up, so that if you want to go um, explore this further on your own time, um, just know that basically we have things set up in three different sections. So this first section is doing the horizontal lines for the green, white, and uh, orange bars. And then our second section here is creating the circle. And we say we, say we wanted to just switch something here to get a feel for it. We could switch that line width from 7 to 10, and we can run that again, and we can see that our line has gotten thicker. Um, basically just wanted to show you that this middle section is taking care of that circle. And then this third section here, well, this is taking care of the 24 spokes in the Ashok Chakra. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so basically, the way you could think of it is first we lay down our tricolor, then we lay down our circle, and then we lay down our spokes on top of it. And then at the very end, we do, do, we do pi axis equal, and then we do pi.show, and pi.show basically runs the file. So... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for our introduction to Matplotlib for creating our Indian flag here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video, and thanks for watching.